Hello YouTube, this is Donnie Lester for Pagan Fellowship. I promised you enough I promised you videos further on along the lines of what I made last time for the Samhain ritual. Um, this one is Yule Winter Solstice. Other names for this one is Mean I can't pronounce it, it's it's a German word translated to English, so I can't really do that. Arth Al, Al, Albane Arthon. I can't. I can't. Wow, I'm not very good at, at pronunciations that have been translated. So, um, the date on this is December 20th, 21st, or 22nd. 22nd. I can't talk right now. Depending upon the calendar, Sun at one degree of Capricorn. Meaning of the word Yule means wheel. Scandinavian. Diversion. Solstice means the sun stands still. And I'm not really sure exactly what where this this author got this information from, so bear with me here. Some of you may agree with it, some of you may not. Uh, the primary ritual focus for this particular holiday is rebirth, renewal, saining or blessings in ritual form, burning of the Yule log. And to get into the Yule Log, the Yule Log was thought to, the thought was, back when the fire, when fire was used as a primary heat source and a primary light source, all the fires in the entire village would be extinguished. Okay, they would not light any fires and they would not keep any of the coals red because what would happen is, instead of having to relight a new fire using the old method of rubbing two sticks together, they would keep a bed of coals, red hot coals, and these coals would be kept all through the day, and then in the night they would put more wood on it and blow on it, and it would rekindle the fire. So literally, you're looking at a flame or a fire that, if you look at it from the point of view that it is the same source that it that was originally intended that the flame never true the, the flame may go out but the heat and the warmth and the power of that fire lasts throughout the year until Yule where everything was extinguished in the entire village except for one fire and that fire was the community fire because back back during that time there was always a fire somewhere in a village usually the center of town near near the well or water source so that they could guard the village okay and then and from that center spot it would be dispersed to the different outlying what we would call outposts that would be around the outer edges of the village and that source would be the meeting point for the change of the guards the guards would the guards for the next shift would go to that central fire and then they would decide where and who they were going to relieve for the various outlying outposts the various points in which the village was guarded but as I was saying, back to the topic here, Yule itself, and I may have to make a part two for this one, because this was a this is a really important pagan holiday because of its its roots. But all fires except for that central fire would be put out. And that central fire would be kindled right at dawn. Or would be only be rekindled and after dusk. And each per each each family would get a coal and take it from the ritual. Usually the ritual lasted all night. Okay, they kept the fire burning huge and high. Hence the fires and whatnot. Having big old huge bonfires. Another holiday that is close to that is Beltane, which is awesome because that is the other part of the year where the same thing is done. 
as far as the fires are concerned. But they would keep a huge bonfire growing, burning in the center of town all night long. Okay, and they would celebrate as long as the as long as physically possible for some. But everybody would get a piece of this fire, the coal, and they'd take it back to their various homes and houses and kindle a new fire from it. Thus, the Yule Log began. Okay, the age of the holiday. Wooden pillars throughout Europe aligned with the rising sun. And yes, the fire would usually be aligned with the rising sun so that the change in the guard could pay attention to whether or not to lay the bed of coals out and put the flame out so that just the light source of the sun was used because even though flames give off pretty good light if you keep them high enough, the sun is no substitute. Let's see. Uh, rising sun. Winter solstice have been recently dated to be 3200, between 3200 and 308 er, BC. In Ireland, Scotland, Stonehenge, and Doris Cursus in Britain. Enabling us to currently calculate this holiday to be of at least 5,000 years old. Popular mythos, Battle of the Oak and Holly King. O uh, Oak King wins, Divine King, the Stag, the Wolf, the Festival of the Dark God as seen in German Belsic. Now, I'm going to have to make a part to this because I've only got about three minutes left. I'm going to get into this, 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 uh, Stag King and Dark God thing. Alright. At this point, the sun's influence is waning. This is why it is so crucial for them to to rekindle, so so to speak, to rekindle that inner that inner fire and phys and actually kindle a physical fire that will burn throughout the year because at this point there is more night than day the sun's influence over the the how much time is light versus not versus day is growing less and less the sun has less of an influence to this point of the year so that's where dark god comes from it's not it's not a mythology where 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 evil an evil god does this you know, it's not like that at all. The astrological sign for this is one degree Capricorn, Earth, Cardinal. The planetary ruler is Saturn. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have to make a three-parter for this one because the invocation for this one is rather long and uh, the ideas for it are really cool. I've already, already recorded it in my uh, Book of Shadows. Uh, this is one of my source books I'm reading from, actually, because it's just a little bit easier to go from the source books, because then nobody can dispute that, oh, well, you don't know what to talk about. This is the source book. Oh, oh, can't see it. Hang on. Whoa, wrong way. Solitary Witch by Silver Raven Wolf. Um, very good source book. I prefer Scott Cunningham's The Craft, uh... Wick of the Complete Craft. Um, it just is a little bit easier, a little less uh, drawn out. This one's more uh, drawn out. Um, okay, I am going to go ahead and end this particular part and uh, begin another one for the ideas and another one for the invocation. I hope you guys have enjoyed this brief look at Yule. Um, another thing that started in Yule is the uh, Christmas tree. Um, the Christmas tree is, for pagans, a physical representation of the gods' male genitalia. We have children, so I can't just come out and say it. Uh, normally, it would... Uh, they would bring in a large tree that had been uprooted. I'm sorry, I've got only got about four seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and end this. Blessed be, and I will see you.